you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. Uh, we aren't usually going to ask for the flag salute today, so let's go ahead and start the meeting. And this meeting, just for public record, is in regard to approval of June vouchers. <clears throat> Um, for the reason being that our next meeting will be July 13th, so it'll be past all of the required time, timeliness for us to get our, our payments out. So um, there may be, uh, on the agenda, there may be a discussion about a proposal from uh, Marine Vessel Kirkland, but that may, we're waiting to hear for more information. So did everybody receive the vouchers? Yes. Ed? Yes. Okay, I have not received the other one yet. Just a second, let me take a quick look at the South Sound voucher. Yeah, it says everybody got them. Okay, yeah, I just got it, so. Okay. Just looked at it. So, do I hear a motion to approve the vouchers for June? I'll make a uh, motion to approve all the vouchers including the last voucher from South Sound Electrical or Electric. Uh, hey, do I hear a second? Yeah, I'll second that. I, 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 I've got the new and the, the fourth one that just came in email. Correct. Okay. Do you want me to read in, anybody want to read in the, for the record, what those vouchers uh, amounts were? Sure. Let me, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, Sorry, John. Go ahead. If you want to start with the, uh, if you don't mind, I'll start with the South uh, Sound Electric voucher, and sure. you can do the others. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, thank you. I, I would request a, a motion to approve voucher approval of uh, July first, twenty twenty one, to July thirty first, twenty twenty one, voucher number twenty one zero seven zero four zero zero one. South Sun Electrical, or electric, excuse me, for $1,908.52. Okay, and John, you wanna read the other ones? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just see if I can do it in proper order if there is, I'll get all three of them to you right now. Sure. So, um, the, or the uh, vouchers, uh, 21070101, uh, down through uh, the, uh, Two one zero seven zero one zero one one for amount of, and all those vouchers in there, for the amount of nineteen thousand six hundred forty one dollars and sixty four cents, and then the the amount of thirteen thousand two hundred eighty seven dollars and sixty six cents, uh, for the first of July through the thirty first of July, and. The, again, for the 1st of July through the 31st of July, 2021, 2021 for the amount of $15,139.65. Okay. Um, How did I do? <laughs> well, we still have the water fund vouchers. That, I think you mentioned that they should be, you don't necessarily have to read the numbers, but the water fund okay. vouchers, I think was the 15,000 one. Is that correct? Aye. The uh, fifteen thousand one hundred thirty nine sixty five dollars is uh, yeah, yeah. well, it's 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 not the water. It's that's not the water fund. I don't believe it's uh my goodness. Okay, well, just for um, general, the general fund voucher vouchers was the fifteen thousand one hundred thirty nine sixty five. Yeah, well, sorry about that. The water fund vouchers are thirteen two eighty seven sixty six. Okay. Okay. There. There you thank go. You. I'm sorry. Thank you for that. I see it. That's. I read that. And uh, thank you. Okay. Well, it's been um, the move. A motion has been made and seconded. So, all those in favor of approving these vouchers, say aye. 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 Uh, Ted, you're muted, but that's all right. I think I saw your thumbs up. So I'm sorry, I'll say I, I'm getting some feedback here. So I just muted myself, but yes, I say I. Okay, uh, motion carries. Um, so water fund vouchers are done. 
I think that's what this meeting was all about. Anything else? Uh, yes, I, I go ahead. I'm sorry. I've been receiving calls, uh, Larry and Leanne, about the uh, computer hack. If we can do something about saying, please do not respond to those emails that were sent out. I've been gone for the last five days and have not been able to check emails. But if we could just put something out and just say that uh, uh, people are using the Port of Allen's uh, uh, system to generate false emails, I'd appreciate it. So. They have, um, I think. Uh, not according to the last 10 minutes that I just received a call from Mr. Carey saying he hasn't heard anything about that. So, well, well Leanne's received how many emails from him in the last half hour? Okay, I, I just I, I'll just throw that out for myself. So, well, WPPA uh, sent out an email to everybody in their database. We okay. posted something on Facebook about it. And I'm not sure what else we could do. You know, there was no damage done uh, in the email I sent to you all. Um, there was no intrusion into our system other than somehow they captured Leanne's email address. And that's the total extent of this. And they sent out a phishing email to everybody uh, in her uh, contact list. Yeah, but having to yeah, and I, I know, Larry, having dealt with the city government, I mean, there's not much we can do uh, except just notify people that, hey, uh, there may be some fraudulent emails sent to your account. Uh, you know, double check the, it's not the Port of Allen's job, but double check where they come through. And so all you have to do is go to the right-hand side of who's sending it, and you can double check. So Yeah, we'll take care of it. Yeah, it, can I inject something, please? Uh, go ahead, Ken. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. Um, I've sent uh, an email to Leanne a couple days ago as well. I sent one to each of you. The only person that called me back was Ted. We've had, I don't know if it's connected, but my wife's uh, credit card was compromised. And I would ask that you folks have an emergency meeting and get an independent investigation going on in this. We've already done that. I, sir, I'm not talking to you. Thank you. Well, let me, uh, let me explain that we have already done that. Um, we had our IT consultant went through everything here to be sure there was nothing that it went by anyone and make sure that no one was impacted other than Leanne. Now, I'm aware that some people would like to find something to blame us for, but you know, this isn't it. Can't hear you, Leanne. Can't hear you. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I, I can't. Have to even, say, I mean, while you're looking, um, I yeah. I saw that email. I got it on my personal email, but I recognized it as as a, you know, not legitimate. So I yeah. deleted it right away. Go ahead. Okay, so I have been with the U.S. Coast Guard, um, state auditors, WPPA, and everybody's checked their computers. There's absolutely. Can you? Can everybody hear her? I can't hear her. No, I can't hear her. Can you hear you? Can you hear me? Yeah, that's right greatly in right mic. now. You'll have to move over so you can hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we can. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've been dealing with the U.S. Coast Guard, um, WPPA, State Auditor's Office. There's nothing attached to anything. I can't hear her. Leanne, move over to the center of the video. Which move word? over to the center of the video because that's where the mic is. Okay. Can yeah. you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> No, I've been dealing with um, Coast Guard, WPPA, State Auditor's Office. I've done everything within minutes. Nothing is attached to anything. There's nothing. There's no virus. Um, <laughs> it's only Brad and those guys. Hey, uh, Larry and Leanne, I just want to let you know, if, if nobody uh, 
I, I want to let everybody else know. When we get an email, when I get an email from the port, I always go to the right and see where it's coming from. And you can check which, uh, who it's coming from. And I, I just hope all of us uh, through the port and our port uh, users and our port customers, uh, if you see an email from Ted Jackson, go to the right. You can see if it's coming from Ted Jackson and see what uh, IP address is coming in from. And I do that with Leanne and Larry's emails all the time because unfortunately working in city government, we had a lot of hackers going on. So that's my religious thing is that I always go to the right, see, make sure the IP address is correct. So you always should see a port of Allen dot com at the end and i don't uh i don't put any blame on anybody there's just a lot of people out there and and larry and leanne both know uh hopefully we're on the 16 uh list page of president biden's non um uh, non things russian can corrupt but uh uh, and Larry's chuckling, but uh, the port the ports are highly vulnerable to corruption. So we need to make sure we're checking our email address. And Leanne, thank you. I yeah, thank you. I I sat there one day when our finance director lost five thousand dollars because somebody sent us an email in the city, and we lost money. So I, I encourage everybody just to double check. Uh, where the IP address is coming from, and it's very simple to do. And if you don't like it, delete it. So, well, a couple things I'd like Thank you me. all to know that we have our system here behind a VPN. So, for somebody to get into our system is hard. And you know, we yeah, and we set up a two-factor authentication for anybody for signing on. So even if they stole the password, they'd still have to get through the second uh, authentication. And that hasn't happened. Um, something I think you all need to know that uh, Leanne's been harassed beyond belief this morning by one individual over all this. And I expect that, you know, he's going to try to blame us for some imagined problem or some problem he had prior. I don't know. And I don't want to say that, but it wouldn't, what I do want to say is it wouldn't surprise me for that to happen. So I want you all to be aware, but. Well, maybe we need to take some kind of action to protect our staff. You guys are doing a good job and I appreciate the work that you're doing. I mean, you know, we've, over the course of time, we have, suffered an enormous amount of harassment from this individual and you all are aware of most of it so but it's just more of it going on today so thank you anyway so uh chairperson uh, i think we'll have a discussion on the 13th about the uh our 100th anniversary which i look forward to because i'm hearing a lot of excitement that people would like to celebrate our 100th anniversary as a port. So I look forward to that meeting. And Leanne and Larry, as somebody has dealt with actual uh, cyber stalking, I, I, I encourage people, please look at the IP address before you open an email. So. Yeah. Anything else for the good of the order? Are we gonna discuss the uh, Kirkland project? Uh, um, the last I heard, they're, stu um, they're still doing some invest. Okay. Some work on it. Yeah. Um, Due diligence. Yeah. Okay. All right. From from Bonnie. So they're working on that too. She did do a proposal, but they're doing some uh, more due diligence on it and feasibility. Yeah. Right. We, we, there's a lot we need from that. We're not going to hurry up and then do a disservice to the taxpayers without having a full scope from the feasibility study that's proper, not the one that, that was sent, and to the business plan model and references on the history of uh, why it hasn't worked someplace else. I want to see all that. So I'm not ready to discuss it until I see more information. Right. And that's some of the due diligence I've been working on. So yeah. Excellent. 
And so uh, if I could just ask uh, uh, Judy, uh, when do you want us to sign the vouchers? I'm still at my house. I can swing down and sign them here fairly quickly, uh, Larry and Leanne. So yeah. yeah, come on down. All right. Yeah, I might have time later, whatever you guys decide to do, I'll be available. And okay. I'm, out of, I'm out of town, Larry, as I, as I mentioned. So that's enough right there though, isn't it? Yeah, two. we just need two signatures. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. I will see you in about an hour. All right. Thank you, everybody. Meeting adjourned. All right. Thank, Thank you all. Have a great Bye. day. Yeah, Thank you. you. Bye, guys.